Alright, so today no intros or whatever, I basically just wanna go straight to the point. We'll be mostly talk about the software update, I think it was version 29 that we got on Quest recently, specifically around content creating and this microphone update. Just to firstly kinda do a rundown, before to record any footage for this headset, you'd have to provide like an external microphone to provide a proper commentary. And since we have like multiplayer games that use the inbuilt microphone anyways, a lot of people were asking to add a possibility to capture the footage of the video and audio to kind of like simplify the process. Now they added it, which is cool. Not everyone can provide themselves with, you know, the setup, especially like the folks that are on a budget like I used to be before. So I totally understand the situation going on. The problem is that Oculus is so out of touch of the community itself that this microphone feature actually just broke the recording process essentially for the multiplayer. The feature allows you to record the audio while you're playing the game. So everything capturing all together, like the noises and stuff like that. Moreover, if you want to disable this feature while you're recording the footage you basically have constantly recorded your audio no matter the case you can't like separate it in the options because there's no possibility of doing it so essentially now i'm using the external microphone here it is to record my audio i have to mute myself meaning that i'm not able to talk to anyone in vr now that seems so crazy to me that this video of course comes across negative or whatever i'm always the first person to call the bullshit out because kissing ass to this company is not a thing if i see things like that happening you won't hear hear about it from anyone, especially on YouTube, like we have this oh cool update, oh great update, big changes, hype, like there's enough bullshit happening behind the scenes but then praising just dog shit things, like people just give a pass for whatever Oculus does at this point and this microphone thing won't be ever updated, won't be ever changed because the recording process was always a bitch to do. It started with audio issues on Quest 1, continued with FPS drops on Quest 2, alongside some disconnections on Oculus Link and now we are blocked from multiple simply because of not knowing your actual software and crapping all over the audio recordings for now. At this point I'm getting tired, like I've not encountered so many problems with a software before and it's just getting exhausting because I'm trying to make up for lackluster software that essentially is one of the hardest things to do like content creation wise, like Quest is literally a garbage headset to record in. A lot of people if they are saying otherwise it's a straight up lie, I understand VR is like a newborn technology but not being in touch with you, the community and listening actually to the feedback makes no sense to me like this update like provides light mode or even more useless features that no one cares about maybe like casual consumers but the recording community is getting screwed over and over again don't get me wrong we're getting cool features and of course oculus is like pushing the vr industry in the right ish direction but i'm like at this point honestly annoyed just annoyed long story short this update is trash and the future ones will continue to be if oculus won't change their politics i'm trying to provide like high quality content and I believe I am one of the only ones quest specific to actually care about the footage and just the whole synchronizations and quality. I don't care about hype, I don't care just the reasons of why it is how it is, I just want to peacefully make videos and that's it, like that's my philosophy on my channel. But anyways, I recorded a footage using this feature and just knowing this information that I gave you, pay attention to all the desynchronizations like the situation when you add the audio from the headset inside the footage, how it revolves like for someone that would not have external mic at all. Even if you watch my mouth like in the external camera, it's not synchronized at all because most of the time the game is disynchronized. So automatically then your voice and that's just like a train reaction. Not having separate sources of video, audio, anything will not justify using this feature at all. But yeah, sorry for the quality of this video that we'll see. It really reminded me how I used to do videos if we were talking about just the quality of it. So it might be a little bit nostalgic for me, but it was triggering as well. So good luck with that. So basically this is my voice when I'm like not recording my external mic. I'm not sure how it's gonna sound even. You don't have like, you know, levels to adjust things. So instantly for content creators it's trash. It's literally so bad. Because these, you know, recordings on quests are not a good thing. Especially if we talk about audio. So just this whole update makes no sense for me personally. What game should we like test it out? I guess something dynamic that there are stuff happening in the background with high volume and then I'm talking at the same time. That way you like instantly notice that difference between having external mic and the inbuilt one. I think that is gonna be fine. Actually, I've never played it. 
standing app, so that's going to be a little bit different. But there's a lot of going on in terms of just soundtrack and just the multiplayer aspect, so I'll play one match. I've not played in a long time, so we'll see. You know by now my videos, before I got my PC, I was recording just with my phone, so you could instantly notice the difference between recordings of my voice from the camera and then like with the mic. I did not hear myself so I'll do it in the editing, but I'm close to be sure that it's gonna be similarly to how I recorded videos way before quality wise, so we'll see. Let's do the campaign because I did not check it out. I just hope I'm not gonna fall because this is kinda intense playing this one second half. Oh, especially in the promo with Arukimi. Oh my god. Oh, my locomotion skills for, for this day and age how it performs. So I don't know how you can hear me at all. But normally Dash Dash is a very loud game. So I'm assuming I'm just gonna see the result at the end, but we'll see. I still have to focus on the game later. No! But I will come at sir. I'm pretty sure you can hear me like you know, breathing and stuff. Not many people could realize, but there's a lot of going on when you don't mute certain parts. Like editing seems easy on Quest, but it is not. Like you have headset on your head, so the audio, the spatial, and just anything that's going on is easily edited out. But not having just one source of the audio. That is just not possible. Oh shit, I don't think I'm gonna be first. No, I'm gonna. Okay. I'm a pro, I forgot. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Just to be safe, I'm gonna leave to the menu in case just the gameplay was too loud to understand. But yeah, I mean, I can judge it now, so I'm probably gonna do like an intro and then just explain what's going on and stuff. It seems more complicated than it is, and Oculus just doesn't realize that because they are not aware of content creators, I feel like personally. In terms of just FPSs, in terms of issues with recordings, like it's so out of touch of reality. <laughs> Virtual reality, <laughs> no pun intended. It's a bit crazy, like this is not a gaming company at all. But whatever, I'm very curious about the footage so hopefully it was enjoyable. <laughs>